How you doing? Stevie GB here. And I'm here to tell you about how to create, produce, and promote your very own solo show. Now, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to go through all that pain and suffering and stress and heartache and, and, and sweating and out and pain? Because you're a performer. That's why. And you know. Maybe you're a comedian. You've been doing this, I don't know how many years. And you got a five-minute act, a 10-minute act, a 20-minute act. Who knows? I don't know where you are, at what level you are. But what are you doing? You're doing the same material over and over. Maybe you're writing new jokes, but you're looking for laughs per minute, right? You're doing premise, setup, punch. Premise, setup, punch. Maybe you're telling some stories in your act. Whatever. You're writing new material. You're out on the road. You've been doing this for years. You're in the, you're in the soup with, with hundreds of others like you. Have you ever had a comedian come up to you and say, hey, I do the same joke? You know what? They do. You're all doing the same jokes. You got to get away from that. As a comedian for 27 years, I know what that feels like. It feels awful. It's painful. Maybe it's time for you to write about you. Maybe it's time for you to create a solo show that is specifically about you. Can you imagine doing up sh a show that's 60 minutes long or 75 minutes long? Can you imagine that? Hard to believe. Can you imagine you being the, the feature, not the feature, the, the headline act, forget feature. You're the headliner because you are the show for the evening because you created your own solo show. And even if you're not a comedian, actors, how many of you are actors out there? And you're getting typecasted in the same role. If I was an actor, they would probably, you know, the lawyer, the accountant, the doctor, the nerd. I would fit the role of any of those things. But maybe I'm none of those things. Maybe I have more abilities. Maybe I could do accents or different characters. But a casting agent wouldn't know that from your acting reel if you're in the same role all the time. But if you create a solo show and make that part of your acting reel, now you've opened up a whole new world of possible parts for you. Think about that. Maybe you're a musician in a band and you want to go solo. All right, you're going to play a bunch of acoustic numbers and do some uh, James Taylor and Ed Sheeran. You do some cover songs. Boring. There's a thousand of you out there, probably a million. You're not going to go anywhere with that. But maybe you want to create a solo show about your life with music in the forefront. Think about that. Maybe you want to combine all those things. Maybe you're a comedian that could do some acting and has musical ability. How are you going to showcase that? In your solo show. You could do it all. It's phenomenal. I've done three solo shows. Uh, both two are about me. Uh, one was not about me. One was about Groucho Marx. You could do that too. You could do a solo show about a figure in history. It doesn't have to be about you. It doesn't even have to be about a famous person. It could be about someone who saved your life. Think about that. It could be someone in your family who overcame some horrible adversity in their life. Maybe they were in the Holocaust. I don't know. I don't know what your story is. You've got to figure that out. But these are all ideas on how to create your story and your solo show. It's going to be fun. Let me tell you something. I've done this for 27 years. I've been a comedian. And nothing has been more gratifying and satisfying to me than performing, producing, creating, and promoting my solo shows. I love it. And once you do it, once you, once you workshop it and do it, you always have it. It's always available to you. I've done solo shows, and at a moment's notice, someone could book me for a solo show. I'm ready. I know what I'm going to do. Because it's all in here. There's not a lot of memorization when it's about you. You know your story. You know it. It's the truth. The truth is easy to remember. So your solo show will be easy to remember because you're telling the truth. It's the most important thing. Your truth is original. Nobody can steal your truth. They can steal your jokey jokes and your stupid jokes about whatever you're talking about. Current event jokes. Forget about those. Their, their shelf life is zero. You know, you want, to, you want to talk about things that will inspire other people, that will make you feel better as a performer, and that will showcase your many talents as a performer. 
The first part of this series will be how to create it. I'm not going to tell you how to, what to write because I don't know you. You're going to have to figure out what to write. But I'm going to give you some tools on how to get there. Some exercises, things to think about as you go about your day. Once you start this process, you're going to be thinking all the time. And you're going to be writing stuff down. Like you'll be writing it down, whether it's in your phone or in a tape recorder or in a book, however, on a computer. However, whatever your process is, you do whatever you need to do. But you're going to be start thinking about it. It's, it's all going to start coming to you very quickly. And you're, you're going to, because you got to get to like 60, 75 pages of dialogue. You think about that. That's a lot. But it's not a lot when you start doing it. You're going to find yourself five to ten pages in very quickly. But five to ten pages is maybe 15 minutes. So, you know, you, you got a ways to go. But you'll get there. I promise you. Uh, the second part of this uh, series is how to produce your show. Where are you going to put this up? What good is writing and creating a show if you're not going to put it on stage anywhere? Are you going to put it on YouTube? What's the point of that? You could do that, I guess, if you want. But it's much more satisfying to perform it in front of a live audience, I think. You know, so you got to find a venue. you got to find people that will help you produce it. Do you need a director? Do you need producers to invest money to put your show up? Or do you want to spend it all yourself? You don't have to spend a ton of money. Any money you spend is worth it because in the long run, you'll come out with something that you could show your talents to bookers and agents and, and even private functions, anything that you think would. It'll get you more gigs. This will keep you working. I guarantee it. It's kept me working. I, I do uh, my three solo shows at least 10 to 15 times a year. And uh, because it's just me, I don't have to, there's no other people to pay. It's just, it, you get to keep all the money is what I'm saying. It's just a thing, just a thought. Um, the third part of this, the most important part, is how to promote it. Because again, you're sure you got, you got the show written, you've got the place to do it, now you got to get the people to come see it. More than just your friends and family, right? You want the general public to take money out of their pocket to come see you. Why would they do that? They don't know you. You're not famous. You're not Sebastian Maniscalco. You're not Kevin James. You're nobody. But you are somebody. And maybe your story is inspiring enough to be able to get you some publicity, some free press, maybe some television interviews, something for people out there in the general public to say, hey, I'd like to see that. That is really interesting. And next thing you know, you got an audience. I'm going to show you how to do that for little or no money. There's, there's ways. There's very good ways to do it. So I'm going to get you on this journey. I suggest uh, you watch a part of it. Do the work. Do the work. Otherwise, you're wasting your time and money. I, I don't care if you do it. You bought it. So, you know, what do I care? But for yourself, do the work. And you can watch this many times. You can shut it off, watch 10 minutes. Watch 10 minutes later. Watch the whole thing. Do whatever you want. It, like I said, you bought it. But this is an introduction to uh, what it's all about. Creating, producing, and promoting your very own solo show. I'm Stevie GB, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.